It's middle of the afternoon here at Pocket Gaming Connects 2018 in London. Energy levels fairly high, house music playing in the background, whether I want it to or not. I'm joined by Antti Vilponen from UpCloud, and you're here to talk to me about the cloud, aren't you? Absolutely. So we're a cloud computing service provider um, hailing from Helsinki, Finland, mm -hmm. um, also the home of many gaming companies. So it's excited to be here and uh, learn more from the community. Which is one of the reasons like you're here. We were talking beforehand and you mentioned that like the networking aspect is what important. You're interested in getting people informed about your service and how it differs from others. You're mentioning things like reliability. That's a kind of a key thing that you're pushing, right? Absolutely. So in, in addition to reliability, we're really keen, um, I would say almost religious on, on performance. Okay. So those two aspects and naturally offering it at a um, competitive price. But um, those two are really important to us because you can add all kinds of bells and whistles along the way. But um, to us, those are the two underlying um, attributes that really make the difference for the customer at the end of the day. So how hard to, is it to compete within your particular industry? How many other people are offering this service? There's got to be a fair few who are doing this now. And how do you try and stand out from the crowd? That, that, that is a very good question, um, and, and to not, um, uh, you know, um, hype the industry or anything, but um, we, we are in an industry, uh, I would say, dominated by the largest technology companies in the world, Amazon, Google, Microsoft. Um, so it, it's not um, easy as such to compete, um, but um, we've, we've been successful in finding our own niche, and um, as, as just mentioned, uh, with regards to performance and reliability, we've uh, put in a lot of um, sweat and tears um, into developing our own technologies, for example, on the storage backend um, side. So our um, technology called Max IOPS is purely built in-house on commodity hardware, but it yields a superior uh, performance um, across the industry. And that's been uh, validated by third-party uh, research as well. So, so that's the angle. You, you're saying that, like statistically speaking, you do actually perform better than the uh, likes of Amazon. And absolutely, absolutely. And, and we're able to do that at a very, very good price as well, because many of the um, customers that we cater to are SMEs. Naturally, we have the individual developers and, and large co companies, corporations as well, but majority of our customers are SMEs across the board, um, consumer, media, um, gaming, um, software as a service um, related companies. Um, so we understand that they are looking at this industry and making the decisions also with price in mind. Um, um, so, so we really want to offer the service at a very competitive price as well. I'm guessing when you're coming up against you know, the huge companies like that, and especially if you are on the software side of things or you're looking for a server, the, the inclination is to go with one of the more recognized names because they offer that automatic sense of security, even if it isn't you know, necessarily true. You have that there. How do you as a smaller band compete? Obviously you can say, well, you know, we've got the performance and we've got the stats to back it up. But how do you get the message out there and how do you actually get people to believe it? So, I mean, all of the big companies, Amazon, um, uh, for example, uh, huge um, respect to them for creating the industry in, in many ways and making it what it is. But um, many of the big companies also um, offer a very um, generalized, maybe a bad, bad word as such, but um, they cater to the average customer. And um, with that in mind, we've come to realize that there are a lot of um, spots where the customer doesn't really get their money's worth in terms of service. And those are the kind of ways we've tried to look at the industry and uh, build our services and products. Um, for example, uh, very um, cost-effective performance uh, and, and reliability, naturally, in mind. So while we may not be the absolutely the cheapest uh, provider in the market, we are a very good choice for the um, SMEs. And um, the way we get the word out is, is usually um, uh, we do a very good job with our customers. Our customer support satisfaction rate is more than 90%. Um, we have a very good NPS score. Um, so all of those are uh, metrics for us that we're doing the right job and many of our customers actually um, put in a good word uh, forward in their own networks. So word of mouth is a big part, but naturally we do advertising promotion and for example events like this. Right, so you say you've kind of found a specific niche by appealing to these things. So 
Who's the ideal user then? This, the, the person who exists in this niche, who is this person who's like well suited to, to your, your company? So I would say the, the most common denominator between these um, um, people is um, someone who's in charge of the infrastructure uh, for these companies. Um, it may differ across different uh, companies. Sometimes it's a, a server architect, sometimes it's a system administrator, in some cases the CTO. But uh, no matter what the title is, usually the person um, looking after the infrastructure uh, for these companies. And on top of that, there are naturally the developers who build the applications um, yeah, yeah. on top of these. Okay. So when it comes to actually getting into business with you guys, how do people go about it? Like, where can they find details about how to get in touch? So upcloud.com is the website to visit. Um, we do have... Um, seven data centers around the world currently, and we're expanding that as well. So our ambition is really to um, cater um, across the globe to different um, customers. And um, the way we've kind of approached this is that we want to build the best tools for our customers so that they don't need to come to ask to uh, us to ask for permissions to use something on our platform. Right. So we give all the tools uh, to our customers, so it's a very self-service approach, mm -hmm. but naturally if they have any questions, we have a 24-7 support line and team available um, as well. So we kind of constantly want to also learn on the best uh, manner to produce these services. Okay, fantastic. Well, thank you for letting us know, and hopefully people will come your way. Thank you very much. <laughs>